While Russia made a bold statement with its fleet of nuclear warheads, the United States has made a more powerful one with the agility of its new secret bomber. It's no secret that a nuclear warhead is one of the most destructive weapons on Earth, and Russia having a large number of this lethal weapon can be seen as a threat to her rivals. The U.S. has identified and responded to this perceived threat by developing its secret powerful bomber. With its history of developing weapons and aircraft that boast unrivaled capabilities, the U.S. did not disappoint as it unveiled the deadliest nuclear bomber that the world has ever seen, and this technology has Russia quivering in fear. What is the U.S. secret powerful bomber? What capabilities does it boast of? Join us as we explore the capabilities of the secret U.S. powerful bomber that Russia is afraid of. The United States secret bomber, the B-21, made waves in the aviation industry because it was unlike anything that had ever been developed. As the successor of the highly advanced B-2 Spirit, this new bomber, with its capability and unmeasurable lethality, stands as a symbol of the U.S.'s dedication to remain at the forefront of technological advancement and a force to reckon with in the world. This bomber, also known as the Raider, is a strategic bomber that was developed by Northrop Grumman. As part of the long-range strike bomber, it is said to be a long-ranged, stealth intercontinental strategic bomber designed specifically for the Air Force. This aircraft is developed with the special ability to deliver both conventional and thermonuclear weapons. The B-21, as a fifth-generation global precision attack platform, will give the United States a networked sensor shoot capability, thus holding targets at risk with something to worry about for the 21st century. To avoid leaking important information, like in the case of the first stealth aircraft ever developed, the F-22 Raptor, many parts of the B-21 program are top secret, which means that only certain people have access to the information concerning this project. Also, technical details like how fast it goes, what systems help it, its size, how stealthy it is, its structure, how many engines it has, what weapons it carries, and its sensors are all kept secret. However, some information about other parts of the program has been shared publicly since 2015. The first pictures of the aircraft were shown on December 2, 2022, during a ceremony at Northrop Grumman's factories that is located in Palmdale, California. In July 2016, the U.S. Air Force decided not to share the expected price of Northrop's B-21 contract. They believed revealing the cost would give away too much about the secret project to potential enemies. Despite some politicians wanting to disclose this information, it was kept secret, with only certain congressional defense committees knowing about it. However, not everyone was happy about the secrecy. To get more transparency, Senator John McCain led a group of lawmakers who wanted more transparency regarding the B-21 program's expenses and demanded the details they required. McCain suggested changes to the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2017 to cut $302 million from the B-21 program budget due to lower-than-expected contract values. He also proposed stricter cost control measures, regular program reports, and disclosure of the contract's total value. Initially, Versions of the 2017 NDAA aimed to make the total B-21 cost public, but this provision was removed from the final report. However, the price was later disclosed to the public, and in December 2022, it was estimated that one B-21 aircraft would cost $700 million. In response to this disclosure, the United States Air Force officials predicted spending around $203 billion over 30 years to develop, purchase, and operate a fleet of 100 B-21s. The maintenance and care for the bomber will be managed by Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma, while testing and assessment will be led by Edwards Air Force Base in California. The bomber is expected to be stationed at bases that already house heavy bombers, like Dias Air Force Base in Texas, Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota, 
and Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. Ellsworth was chosen in March 2019 to be the first base to have operational B-21 units and training units. The B-21 is planned to replace the B-1 strategic bombers and the B-2 strategic bombers before the end of the year 2040. This bomber might also replace the B-52 bomber, which has been in service since the 1950s and is expected to continue operating for many more years. Working alongside Northrop Grumman is a highly experienced team of seven of the world's largest manufacturers as Tier 1 suppliers for the program. This team of suppliers includes in this project are the American aerospace manufacturer Pratt & Whitney, the largest defense contractor in Europe, BAE Systems, the world's largest first-tier aerostructures manufacturer, Spirit Aerosystems, Northrop Grumman's Orbital ATK, Rockwell Collins, GKN Aerospace, and Janiski Industries. Together, these eight companies, with Northrop Grumman at the head, would create a bomber that could double as an intelligence gatherer, triple as a battle manager, or quadruple as an interceptor aircraft. This would be made possible by the aircraft's combination of intelligent sensors to perceive threats from the other side of the planet, top-level stealth features that make it invisible to radar, heavy armament enough to level entire countries, and an open architecture that allows it to quickly take on new upgrades to keep up with the times and technology. And according to Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall III, the bomber can be accompanied by a bomber drone flying alongside to execute some missions. This capability is one that seems exclusive to only next-generation fighters such as the NGAD and Tempest. The B-21 so far is the only American bomber and the only bomber in the world with such capability. For these reasons, the U.S. Air Force has decided to produce as many of these bombers as they can have, so they plan to acquire a minimum of 100 B-21 and envision up to 200 in total eventually. This decision of acquiring this number of bombers would, however, cost a leg. Since the B-21 is said to be quite similar to that of its predecessor B-2, let's check out some of the designs of the B-2 Spirit which would give an insight to the B-21's design. The B-2 Spirit was created to perform important missions for the U.S. Air Force, allowing it to fly deep into enemy territory and drop bombs, which could be nuclear or regular. It's a unique aircraft with no traditional fuselage or tail. This bomber also has several advantages over older bombers because it combines technologies that make it hard to detect with efficient aerodynamics and a large carrying capacity. Being hard to detect means it can fly at high altitudes without being seen, which gives it a longer range and better ability to spot targets using its sensors. The Air Force says it can fly about 6,000 nautical miles without the need to get it refueled. When it does need fuel, it refuels every six hours and can take on up to 50 short tons of fuel at once. Creating the B-2 was a big challenge because it needed advanced computer technology to design and build it. This was because it had to be very hard to spot by enemy radar and other detection methods. The B-2 looks similar to older planes made by Northrop like the YB-35 and YB-49, which were also flying wing bombers. These older planes were stopped from being developed further in the 1950s, possibly for political reasons. The B-2 even has the same wingspan as the YB-49, which was also designed to be very hard to detect by radar, just like the B-2. The B-2 bomber has two crew members, a pilot on the left side and a mission commander on the right. There is also space for a third crew member if needed. When compared to other bombers like the B-1B and B-52, which have larger crew capacity, the B-2 has a smaller crew. The bomber is also designed to be highly automated, so one of the crew members can rest while the other keeps an eye on the aircraft. This setup is quite different from most aircrafts with two seats. However, this can be really dangerous, so, to avoid problems, a lot of research has been done to help the crew stay alert during long flights, and it is compulsory for them to receive advanced training at the USAF Weapons School. 
In the past, during the Cold War, the B-2 bomber was developed for secret missions where it would fly deep into enemy territory without being noticed, carrying nuclear bombs. It also has special places inside where these bombs are kept, which helps it stay hidden from radar and maintain its stealth when airborne. The B-2 can carry a lot of bombs, including nuclear ones like the B-61 and B-83, as well as missiles. After the Soviet Union broke up, the B-2 was also equipped to do more regular attacks, not just nuclear ones. It has a special system to help it find targets accurately using GPS and radar. Originally, it could carry up to 16 GPS-guided bombs, but it was later upgraded to let it carry even more. It can carry various types of bombs and weapons, too, like Mark 82 and Mark 84 bombs, mines, and special sensor bombs. It can also carry a massive bomb called the Massive Ordnance Penetrator, which is meant to destroy really strong bunkers. The B-2 is the only bomber that can carry this big bomb. In the future, it's expected to be able to carry more advanced missiles too, giving it even more ways to attack from far away. To make the bomber better than older ones, lots of advanced technology was put into it. These include special radar systems, navigation systems, and a defense system to spot and handle any dangers. The plane also has a system that continuously checks its parts to make sure they're working right. This system can even tell the ground crew what needs fixing after a mission. In 2008, many separate computer systems on the B-2 were replaced with one big system. This makes it easier to control all the technology on board. The plane has special computers that are built to withstand electromagnetic pulses, which could damage regular computers. The different systems on the B-2 are connected through cables and fiber optics. Over time, the B-2 has been upgraded with new software, better materials, and improvements to its radar. It can now communicate with other planes and satellites during battles, use different kinds of bombs, and avoid interfering with other radar systems. The radar itself has been upgraded to be more advanced. Because the B-2 is made of special materials, it has to stay far away from thunderstorms to avoid getting damaged by lightning. To keep the B-2 bomber stable in flight, it uses a sophisticated computer system called Fly-by-Wire. This system can automatically adjust the plane's controls without the pilot having to do it manually. It gets information about how the plane is flying from special sensors, which are designed not to affect the plane's stealthiness. The system has both hydraulic and electrical parts, and it's made to still work even if some parts stop working properly. When designing the B-2, Northrop looked for ways to control the plane without making it easier to detect by radar. They settled on using a combination of special brakes and adjusting the engine's power. The power from the engines not only affects how fast the plane goes, but also how it moves up and down and turns. There are special control surfaces on the wings that help steer the plane, with some only used during specific parts of the flight, like landing. During takeoff, these surfaces are positioned in a way that helps the plane lift off smoothly and avoid any damage. The B-2 bomber is designed to avoid detection by enemy defenses so it can attack without being seen. It achieves this by reducing its visibility to different detection systems like radar, infrared, and visual sensors. This helps it to fly into heavily defended areas without needing as much support from other aircraft. So far, no missiles have been launched at a B-2 bomber. During daylight flights, the bomber is painted with special paint to make it harder to see. It flies at high altitudes, and the dark color blends with the sky. The plane also has sensors to help the pilot adjust its altitude based on the brightness of the sky. Originally, it had tanks for a chemical to reduce the visible trails behind it, but this was replaced with a sensor that tells the crew when to change altitude. However, it can still be seen visually at close range. It also has a special shape and coating to reduce its radar visibility. It has a low radar cross-section, meaning it's harder for radar to detect it. Pilots use special techniques to make the B-2 even stealthier when approaching enemy defenses. 
The aircraft's design, with its smooth, flat surfaces, helps reduce its radar signature. This design was developed with advanced technology to make the plane less visible to radar waves. Some experts say that infrared search and track systems could detect stealth aircraft because all aircraft surfaces heat up due to air friction. By using a two-channel IRST, it's possible to detect CO2, a gas emitted by aircraft, by comparing the differences between the low and high channels. Keeping the engines deep inside the fuselage helps reduce the thermal visibility or heat signature of the exhaust. Cold air from below the main inlet mixes with hot exhaust air just before leaving the aircraft, which reduces the heat released and lowers the heat signature. The B-2 doesn't have afterburners because they would increase the heat signature, and breaking the sound barrier would create a sonic boom and heat up the aircraft skin, making it more visible. To reduce radar visibility, the B-2 uses radar absorbent materials that absorb and neutralize radar beams. Most of the plane is made from a strong carbon graphite composite material that absorbs radar energy. The B-2 is also assembled very carefully to prevent leaks that could increase its radar signature. Each B-2 is kept in a special hangar to protect its radar absorbent materials and coatings from the elements. These hangars are portable and climate controlled, ensuring the aircraft's integrity is maintained during maintenance operations. Now imagine a bomber with more advanced characteristics than the B-2. Truly, the world is nor ready for such a technology, and it's no wonder why Russia is trembling at the thought of the capabilities that this bomber boasts of. Usually, while the United States is always a step ahead in innovations, its rivals are always directly behind, and now they are also developing new weapons of warfare that would be aimed at surpassing the technology that is in the possession of the United States. For instance, the Russia's PAK-DA. The PAK-DA will be designed to be a long-range, low-observable strategic bomber for the Russian Air Force, with a wide array of actual combat capabilities. It'll be a subsonic aircraft with a heavy payload of cruise missiles, hypersonic missiles, precision conventional and nuclear bombs, all contained in a flying wing design like that of the B-21. And like the American bomber, the PAC-DA is kitted up with the most advanced local electronic warfare and stealth technologies, allowing it to limit its radar return and mask the heat produced by its engines. Looking back at history, Russia fighter jets tend to focus more on firepower than on being stealthy, leaving it susceptible to radar detection. So it's expected that the PAKDA won't be as stealthy as the B-21. However, Russia compensates for this by equipping their aircraft with more weapons. The PAKDA is expected to carry up to 80,000 pounds of weapons, likely more than the B-21, just like the Su-57 carries more weapons than the F-22 and F-35. The PAKDA, like the B-21, is expected to be deployed into service in the late 2020s. Russia is not the only country pushing to create a next-generation bomber. China has also risen up to the challenge and invested millions of the U.S. dollars into the development of its next-generation bomber. This time, they are preparing it from scratch unlike the J-20, which is said to have been inspired by the F-22 Raptor. China enters into the list of the nations that possess fifth-generation bombers with the Shan H-20. Although there haven't been too many official reports regarding the bomber, there is enough information to clarify its existence and is one to look out for, especially since it shares a similar flying wing profile to the B-21 and the PAC-DA. Several computer-generated images from verified sources have also shown its weapons bay, airborne radar, adjustable tail wings, and stealth air intakes all covered in radar-absorbent material. So it's definite that China will design its bomber to be a super-advanced, stealth-focused bomber in development, making it invisible like the B-2. The H-20 will be China's first self-developed, dedicated stealth bomber. It is expected to fly at subsonic speeds, armed with conventional, hypersonic, or nuclear missiles. Regarding when it will enter service, 
it does not apply that this bomber would be deployed or operational anytime soon, unlike the B-21 and the PAC-DA. Now that the capabilities of the B-21 has been kept a secret from the public, the United States rival does not know what to expect of this powerful bomber that is being developed. But if it is anything like the B-2, China and Russia have no choice but to stay worried until the bomber is unveiled to the world. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.